People complain about her, so let's see if Dummy has all the sauce to show why this legend can be so frustrating to play against sometimes. All right, so you see Kyler Alice, he's banning out a bunch of the small maps there. Small Brawl Haven, absolutely gone. You do not want to get tagged by Scarlet's incredibly powerful signatures and her high strength because you will lose your stock just as you enter orange. Mm -hmm. Especially with that rocket lance, a lot of times we'll go for that down light sair conversion, or rather down air sair conversion off stage, and she has enough base force that a lot of times that alone can actually KO where a lot of other lance Ooh. legends would not be able to. Man, Kyler just swooped right in there as soon as he picked up that sword, got a bunch of early damage, the three hit string, and now he's just continuing the pressure. Oh my goodness, yeah, he's kind of relentless here with the sword in hand. There we go, I like the spacing there from Dummy to kind of force Kyler Alice out. Now having the Rocket Lance in hand, really trying to keep the pressure on, but Kyler doing so good, kind of staying airborne mm. quite a bit. Ooh, threatening with that down air. We've seen him use a ton of down air and neutral air on the sword. Those are those kind of like half moon slashes that cover either up above or down below. Oh my gosh, big signature just calling him out, firing him away, and Kyler has been uh, he's so incredibly healthy, just into the yellow. He has so much runway to work with. Yeah, he's already forcing Dummy into the yellow on his second stock, and he was able to secure the first one in under a minute. So Kyler Alice doing an immaculate Wait. job here. Dummy trying to bring this back. Ooh. Can't find the hits he needs. All right, so we're playing the range game. Kyler, just every time that Dummy tries to land back on the stage, he's just there to threaten. And every single strike of just those little pokes from the hammer does so much damage. Okay, Dummy getting closer mm. now. Oh, the Yo, weapon what? throw. <laughs> he actually didn't fire it up. He didn't do a jump before the weapon throw. He called out the low recovery. And man, Dummy was there to catch the hammer right in his face. Man, I love the fact that Kyler jumped off immediately afterward, kind of threatening the high just to kind of spin <gasps> him out. Yo, dosi -si do, swing him around. All right, signs of life from Dummy, but is it too little too late? I mean, Kyler was working on a three stock. Now it's two stocks to one, but the damage is building up. Dummy on dire straits. Oh, no. Ho, ho, ho. All right, we've seen that before. That's exactly what Kyler did at BCX against Sandstorm, just smacking him down. That is one of the specials, man. That down signature on the sword, amazing spike if you can get it to cut right over that corner. And that's sure enough what Kyler will go for in a ton of situations. Yeah, and it was really a, kind of a struggle for Dummy toward the end there, right? It, it seemed like, you know, he did have some signs of life, was able to secure KO with that down sig, but it really felt as if he was kind of playing to try and punish the aggression from Kyler Alice, but yeah. couldn't quite do so, right? Parrying is only really effective if you have a great uh, grasp of what the opposition is doing in terms of offense, but he just could not keep up. I mean, I, I understand, and I see what he thinks the problem probably was. The costume color. Swapping <laughs> over to the black, showing, you know what? No, no, no. I've got the levels. I've got the time. I sunk the gold into this color palette. I'm going to use it. That's just the exact change he needed. But I think he's going to need a little bit more of a mindset change, too. And, man, that can be the only variable that changes right now as we're going back to Apocalypse for game number two. Yeah, and I'm actually surprised that he allowed Kyler to go back to the stage. Maybe he's thinking, all right, you know, I just need to refine my gameplay. The stage wasn't the issue. But I'm thinking maybe it might have been worth at least, you know, seeing what your options were. We might see that in game three here, but already Kyler starting off with a pretty good start, even though he picked up the weapon second. Yeah, all right. So you see Kyler Alice. He does this a lot. He approaches with those down airs. He'll go at that full hop height and then just kind of swoop down with the down air. Uh-oh, uh-oh, going for the edge guard. Oh, dummy getting just up past that dive kick. Absolutely crucial. Okay, I like this. Dummy has Kyler exactly where he needs him. He's to keep the pressure going, try to starve him, but no. Kyler still manages to find the weapon. Dummy still doing a pretty good job, though, keeping this relatively even. Uh-oh, Oh, oh yo, Russian Mafia! mafia absolutely beautiful man we were as synchronized as kyler <laughs> alice with both his hands they knew exactly where to go i used to saw it uh, 10 years ago he knew exactly what conversion he wanted in that scenario and dummy now once again on the back foot, oh but maybe not for long oh man he's got a chance he is so much closer now than he was in the previous game kyler really have to just try and find a way through dummy's hammer and oh man just scoots right around the back picks up another one of his own 
Oh, but you can see Dummy's just looking for that hit now. He knows it's one good clean air, maybe even a nair uh, to get Kyler off the top, a down air or something, but he can't find the hits. Kyler continuing to juggle the oppression now. Dummy needs an answer, and there it is. All right, managed to get him, had just chasing him, caught him out with the stomp. But man, Kyler put on so much damage. It seems like every time that Dummy gets juggled up into the air, it's going to be for four or five hits. Okay, let's see if he can get off the ledge here. Manages to do so, tries to turn around with the jabs there, but Kyler Alice ready and waiting. Almost gets the KO, oh. misses the jump on the Sayer. Yeah, that one, oh my gosh, at the high damage bounce. That one can be incredibly difficult to follow up on because that down air, it sends them outward, downward radially. So if they're a little bit to the side, it can send them too far to be able to really follow up. But man, he had the follow up locked. And I actually love this from Kyler Alice. He's making sure to utilize his weapon throws to kind of occupy the aerial space. Ooh. Wait, hold on. Dummy, what do you got here? No, no further conversion more than that. You almost got that lance string you were talking about where they just take you for a ride. Whoa, Kyler tossing his hammer away. Oh, perfect spot dodge by Dummy. Yeah, I'm surprised. I mean, I thought Kyler Alice was going to jump there, and so did Dummy, but Kyler just not biting. Needs to be careful on his way back to the stage on the last stock. Has to be very careful. And Kyler is now pulling out every single signature. He just wants this to be over. Okay, weapon throw forces him to dodge, and that should be it. Can line up a ground pound. No, goes for another day. Oh. Actually, dummy, he's back. Oh my gosh. Too far below to get the knockout, but the stomp into side air once again, taking another life. Now, this isn't necessarily over. This is <laughs> very much so. Hold on. Uh oh, uh oh. But yeah, getting knocked away horizontally, not that bad, especially when you have a lance. Ooh, unless it's too far and you get knocked completely off the screen. Kyler Alice now up 2-0. This is a best 3 out of 5 set, though, so Dummy has a chance, albeit slim, to bring this one back. Yeah, and it looks like this time around, Dummy does remove Apocalypse from the map pool, so we're guaranteed going somewhere new this time around. And it's going to be Crystal Temple. Ooh, I did not expect right. that. This is this is a good one. This is a good one. I know Foda's, you know, dancing in the background. He just loves this music. Absolutely music all about it. Slaps. It. There's no question. <laughs> Here we go, starting off, and you know, one of the weird things about this stage is the platform layout and how it can be difficult sometimes if you want to down air through the platform, but Ooh. it's like Kyler does not- Why not just down air where there are no platforms? Kyler looking to spike dummy. That's another punish. There we go, I like this. There we go, guess the read. He goes for the extended uh, kind of punish we were talking about earlier, but Kyler is privy to that one. Oh my god. Oh, goodness. off the- Oh my gosh, he got the four piece. You know, that down light down air, a lot of players love going for that one. Gets the first knockout. Beautiful. Kyle, he goes for that down light down air with the sword because it'll bounce him off the ground. It leaves him close for another follow up. And if you have platforms at heights like those, you can try and oh go goodness. for a four piece extension. Oh, Ooh. missing that guaranteed conversion there with the D light. It's a ground pound, but Kyler is all over dummy. This stage doing him absolutely no favors, trying to catch Kyler Allison skies, but it is just not working out right now. Ooh, dodges away from that signature, tries to get one of his own, but Kyler can't find the purchase. Damage really starting to build onto dummy. Whoa, dodged away from that signature. There is a little bit of a dodge window there. So a little riskier to go for, but you can score a knockout if you catch him slipping. Okay, Kyler going aggressive off stage here, trying to get the recovery, can't find it. Playing a little game of cat and mouse. Dummy wants to get the reversal. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he bet too much. He thought Kyler was going to come off the stage again like he did the first couple times. I, I don't know, even just fighting one hammer off stage is terrifying, but there were two on the field there. Yeah, it's like you're getting down to kind of what may be the final moments for Dummy here. Kyler Alice with a hefty lead. Dummy can't seem to mm. find a way to land, and especially against Kyler Alice, he was mashing that neutral light Jeez. tank. You will stay close to me. I mean, it's so such great coverage, especially like if they spot dodge, it has a high, pretty high chance of catching them at the tail end. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is just Ooh. smothering Dummy at this point. There we go. With Sam oh, yeah. Dummy. All right. Finally gets the knockout, but man, his work is cut out for him deep in the red. Oh, Kyler almost getting the knockout right there. Just a little too low for the gravity cancel neutral heavy on the unarmed. 
Okay, hold on. Dummy getting a few hits in. He's going to knock Kyler Alice near the weapon. Kyler doesn't even Ooh. opt to try and pick it up. Maybe an Edsig? Ed -Sig, maybe? No, Dummy still holding the corner here. Two weapons now. Kyler doesn't even care. Ooh, Dummy almost got the stomp into a reset. A little bit extra damage, but getting juggled again. And man, we've seen D Kyler just... Oh my gosh, the dodge on that down signature. That would have ended the stock. Somehow, Dummy still surviving. All right, no more. Kyler Alice taking the set... 3-0, fairly convincingly. I thought I thought Dummy had a chance there in game two. He brought it so much closer than it was at the start of the set. But man, he just couldn't find his footing. Kyler was able to adapt, download him faster than the reverse connection. I 100% agree, and I think a, a big testament to that is actually Kyler, the way he plays the matchup reverse the rocket land specifically is actually really fun to watch because he understands that, oh, okay, yeah. he's going to try to fish for these side lights. So I'm going to go for a lot of dash weapon tosses before he can even get the spacing right to try and throw that option out or he'll jump around and go yep. for the down airs because, all right, if he's not jumping, now you have to gravity cancel to get that side light and it just makes it so much harder to line up uh, hitboxes like that. So, I mean, kudos. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I got to clap it that, up. That, that's the thing. Like, Carl, I was just...